Good morning, YouTube. This is Alan with Off Grid Technology coming back to you guys again today. Just got back from traveling. Sorry, I haven't posted much in the last uh, three to four weeks. I was out doing some training for my day job, um, doing some really good stuff that I was excited for, but unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to do any videos. However, I did make some good contacts, which one of those contacts that I had made had asked me a question that nobody really has asked me before, and that's what radios do I use daily or what radios am I carrying daily that I'm making some of these contacts on? As you see, we have a few radios here in front of you today. Let's go ahead and go to the intro and then we'll come back and take a look at these. All right, so we're back up at the table here. And like I said, you see three radios here in front of you. I'm going to start off with the left to right. Uh, we've got the FT4X. Uh, the FT4X is a dual band uh, VHF, UHF, uh, just a basic uh, you know, type of, of radio that you would normally carry for analog, of course. Um, this one I actually got on sale for $60 at Gigaparts. Way impressed. If you own a Baofeng and you want something with a little bit cleaner audio and a lot better uh, transmission, no spurious emissions, for sixty to seventy dollars, this FT4X and the FT65R, um, amazing radios, very tiny, very portable. Uh, you can see here it's just just a simple little radio. You've got your function, you've got your monitor, your PTT, your four by by four keypad. You've got the uh, M1 style headset, and it does take the Baofeng style antenna. So you can see I've got a Nagoya seven seven one G, I believe, on here. Very good radio. Um, I also use this with these little stubby antennas because the repeater by my house is really close. Uh, so I'll throw it down to low or medium power, a little stubby antenna around the house, saving on battery life. This thing will last me four or five days with just casual transmissions on the little 1700 milliamp hour battery. So this is the little dual bander that I normally carry with me. Um, like I said, it's, it's very tiny, it's very portable. I mean, you take off this 771 antenna, and if you're close enough to a repeater where you're running mid to low power, you really can't get a much smaller package than this. Um, I, I mean, I keep that on my desk at work. And I mean, you can see it's almost with the antenna, it's, it's a little bit bigger than the FT70. Almost as big as the GMRS Pro. Very good dual band radio. Uh, very cheap, very ineffective, or very effective, excuse me. If you like Baofengs, but you're looking for something a little bit better, um, honestly, I like the programming in this better. I'm not going to do a full video on this one yet. I, I do, I will do one soon, um, but I can program a repeater into this in probably 60 seconds and be on the, on the my way. Uh, very easy to program, very easy to save memory channels in these. You don't even need software. I, I haven't even bought the cable for this radio. I just use it as I need it. Next up um, is the FT70. Uh, the FT70 I recently purchased. Uh, I was at the ham radio uh, outlet up in Dallas. Again, for my training up there, and while I was up there, I went and saw the guys up there. Robert, the manager, amazing guy, shout out to him, uh, sold me this FT70, and I have been no more pleased. This thing is an amazing radio. Uh, I know people have complained about battery life with this. I actually bought a, a lithium-ion 2000 milliamp hour battery that I haven't even used yet. I, I've just been using the stock battery. I throw it on a quick charger every night. Um, I did not buy the... Yesu quick charger. I just bought one off of eBay and it seems to work just fine. It charges in two, two and a half hours and I'm good to go. Um, I paired that with a signal stick as you see here. And again, sometimes when I'm using my hotspot, I'll just throw a little BNC, little rubber ducky. Um, I do have a hotspot. You don't see it. It is back here. Um, it is running Yesu System Fusion. So yeah, so this is my radio that I use around the house. Um, this is in my car usually all the time. Uh, this one's in my house, usually on me most of the time. Um, I, I do like to talk on the U.S. America link, so if you're ever on there, love to hear from you. Uh, we'll make some contacts. Uh, very good radio for $175. It's rugged. It's not waterproof, but it might as well be. I mean, this thing's got, you can see the gasket seal on the batteries. These gasket seals are no joke. They will, they will keep that water out, no problem. Um, and then the battery will lock. Right at the bottom, it's got a software power on button, so it's a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, great radio. You can see someone's talking on the link now through my hotspot. So this is the one that's usually on me most of the time. This is the one I carry in the car. 
Now, you're probably saying, well, why do you have three radios? Why do you carry three? Um, like, again, this one's usually in the car. Yes, it's on me. I EDC it because it's there. I will take it into the office sometimes. But this one's usually on my person. This one's usually on my car ready to go. This one I usually carry in my bag. And the reason why I carry this in my bag is, as some of you guys out there, like me, you started off in this world in the VMRS world. You didn't come directly into it from the ham side. Um, so something piqued your interest. Well, GMRS piqued my interest. I started getting into it. And right around the time I really started getting into picking up radios, uh, BTEC released the GMRS Pro. And the GMRS Pro is probably the best GMRS radio. And I'm going to say that because I also have the KG Uni V9G, the Uni V9G Pros. I have the KG 905. This one, feature-wise, because it does the data with your phone and you can send text messages over your simplex links, this thing is always on me. I always have this. Um, you never know what's going to happen. You never know who you're going to meet out in the field. You might need to, you know, get help one day, and then and you don't you don't know where you're at, and somebody else has this radio, which is, has become very popular. There's a lot of them that are sold. You can share your location with them, and they can come directly to you. Really good in a search and rescue. Yes, I know it's GMRS. Yes, I know you can't use the repeater channels, but it's still a very good, very solid radio. It's IP67 rated. It's USB-C chargeable. The battery lasts forever. I mean, what else can you ask for? It's an amazing GMRS radio. Uh, it has some accessories out. So I did pick up this. This is made for VGC radios, not for specifically that one. However, it works perfect. Um, even the volume down, I found, does work. If you see a previous video I had, I was saying that the volume down didn't work. It does work. You just don't register it on the screen. But if you're pressing the volume down and then you press volume up again, you will notice that the volume did go down. You can change your channels with this. Um, it's a wireless, it's just USB micros, not my USB-C. Uh, I also have the K1 to M1 adapter, which allows me to use K1 style accessories, such as this K1 style mic jack here. If I just choose to use something that's wired and not wireless, I can use that with the adapter. Uh, many good accessories, many good things. Uh, yes, I know, yes. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I just can't help it. I like the range. Um, but again, you know, very good radio. A out of all the ones, you know, like I said, I've got the KG UV9G. You can see it sitting right here. Love this radio. Great radio. Airband receive everything. I just, it doesn't give me what the BTEC does with the data. So, I mean, unfortunately, this one gets put in the back and used as a secondary. Uh, so, yes. There we go. That's what I carry day to day. FT4XR, highly recommend it for an analog radio. Um, I'm able to hit repeaters here sitting in the in a bowl. Um, I, I'm very in an RF inefficient area, and I can still hit repeaters, you know, five, six miles away, even with the stubby antenna. So there they are. Yesu FT4X, very good dual band radio, uh, analog, UHF, VHF. You got your Yesu FT70. Um, Again, dual band, VHF, UHF, uh, does FM and C4 FM, which is going to be your digital modes. Uh, I did not uh, mention this before, but this also does aircraft receive. So you can receive on the, the 108 megahertz range uh, for aircraft. And then you've got the uh, GMRS pick is the VTEC GMRS Pro. Uh, you know, this is my, my GMRS radio. This is usually in my bag. Um, they're ready to go and respond. Um, I do listen. I do. I have Mars modded these radios, these two radios, so I can receive and transmit GMRS. However, that's not legal in an emergency situation. So normally, what I'll do is I'll monitor GMRS here through the scan. If I hear something that I need, somebody I need to return to, or somebody interesting, I'll just pull this out of the bag, tune through that channel, and respond to them. So yeah, there you guys go. Uh, everyday carry radios. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you think these are good picks. I mean, again, everybody's radios are going to be different. It's more for what you're, you know, set for you and your needs. These radios fulfill my needs in a way that I need them to, but it may not be the same for you. So let me know your thoughts, comments. What kind of radios do you guys carry? Um, what kind of radios are you interested in? Uh, I've been interested in looking at an Alinko dual band uh, IP67 rated, I believe, uh, that Alinko makes. It's around $100, but I was thinking about picking one of those up as a emergency 
rugged type radio, you know, these ones are great. They'll keep out moisture and stuff. This one's fully submersible, but these two are not. So I would like to have a, a very rugged uh, radio. It's, I'm either looking at that one or if I can, you know, swing the swing the uh, cash, I may end up buying a uh, VX6R. And uh, you know what? Let's, you know what? I'm going to pick up both. You know what? In the future, I'm going to try to pick up the VX6R. I'm going to do a head-to-head -head with that one and the Alinko, uh, which I'll put the model number up here. And then what I think I'm going to do is when I hit a 1,000 subscribers, I might give away that Alinko radio. So if you're interested in winning yourself an Alinko radio, and I'm not going to put this on you know, the, the, the main screen or in the titles. I want to see if, I want this to be for my viewers. I want you guys to get word out there. Go ahead and share this video. And if you share this video, I want you to put a note in the comments. Everybody who has shared this video, I'm going to put into a, a spreadsheet and we'll do a random drawing once we hit a thousand subscribers online. We'll make sure we do it all fair. Um, for everybody who has shared this video right here, you share this video, you get it out there. Let's drive some traffic. We can get to a thousand subscribers. I will go ahead and give away the dual band uh, IP67 Linko radio that I noted up here and above. I'll put a picture over here for you guys to see it. Um, and it's going to only be to people who watch this video to the end and were able to hear this, this section and get in there. So go ahead, do that. Share this video. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And go ahead and post a comment down below. And let's get you interested in reading a radio. Before I close out, um, I am working on a couple other videos for you guys. Um, I want to give you a sneak peek as well, real quick. This is a, another video that's coming up soon. You can kind of see it there. So this is the BTEC uh, GMRS 20 V2. They sent this out. I asked them if they would do a partnership on a project I'm working on, doing a GMRS man pack. That is the radio that I chose for the GMRS man pack. So. Stay tuned to that, guys. It's going to be a good set of videos coming up, and I think you guys are really going to like it. Anyway, wasting enough of your time. 73s, guys. This is Alan. Have a wonderful afternoon.